Hello everybody, welcome to chapter 2, section 9. We're going to talk about solving percent problems. And the goal here is to teach you two methods of solving a percentage problem. And I'm going to tell you that it's valuable for you to be aware of both and able to do both. So I might at some time ask you to show me method 1, which is called the percent equation, or just using an equation. Or method two is where we would use the percentage proportion. And that's basically our tasks for today. So here we go. Let's just jump into it and uh, hopefully we can get it done in 10 minutes. It might take a, a video and a half. We'll see. All right, the first method we're going to talk about is called the percent equation, or in other words, using an equation. And the trick to this is to identify the key words in a, a sentence or in a particular scenario and translating those into math, a math equation, and this is solving for the unknown. So here are the key words you need to know. The word of in, in math usually means multiply. The word of, you see of, multiply. All right, the word what, you see that in an equation or in a sentence, usually is the variable. It's the unknown x or whatever it is you're trying to solve for. Is, if you hear is, that's an equal sign. Again, not always, but most of the time the word is represents an equal sign. And then the percent, that just means out of 100. Out of 100, okay? So if you know that those key words, okay, we can just use those key words, translate it into a math equation and solve. It's easy. Okay, that's the first method. The second method is using a percent proportion. All right, and a percent proportion, I'm gonna give myself a little bit more room here. The percent proportion, this on your paper I put, this is actually uh, like a ratio we're gonna fill in here. All right, the numerator on this part is called the part. Okay, that's the part and the denominator is the whole. Now, the part is usually signaled by the word is. Not always, but often is represents the part. And the whole is the word of. You'll notice the similar words from the ones we just talked about. On this side, we have the percent. And the percent value is always over 100 because a percent means out of 100. All right. So what we have here is this is a proportion That can be translated from words into this, and we call, uh, we'll call solve for the unknown. Now, one way people teach it is they might write it like this, is over of equals percent over 100. And that makes it a little more simple for the problems we're going to see at first. But when you get into the context of real applications, it's, you need to understand that is represents the part and of represents the whole. So let's go to this chart right here. What we're going to do is I made this chart and designed it basically for you to see both methods in one. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this question and we're going to solve it as a proportion and an equation. And hopefully you can fit it in the boxes as we go. It's going to be a challenge for me because of the, uh, the size of my ink, but we are going to give it a shot. Let's do that now. So the first question says 12% of 50 is what? Okay, so in this column, we're going to set up a proportion. Now, on the last page, uh, we did is over of equals percent over 100. Now, you can just flip yours over. You don't have to write that down unless you want to. Uh, so let's take a look. We got 12%. Well, if you have is of percent of 100, where do you think the 12 would go? And fill in the blanks. It goes where the percent is because it's a percent. And under the percent goes 100. It's that simple. Now. Take a look at the is. It says of 50. Of 50. Where do you think 50 goes? Of 50 goes where the of is. That's the whole in this particular situation. It's out of 50. It's really the whole. Is what? Is what? We don't know what that is, so that's x. Now, if you crisscross, use the rule of cross product, like we learned in the previous lesson, you have 100x is equal to 50 times 12, which is 600, divide by 100. And actually, 
and then uh, you have x equals 6. Okay, now in this box I'd like to do the same equation, but I'd like to do it using the translating the words into the uh, into the an equation. So here we have 12% of 50 is what? 12%. Now here's the one thing about the equation that you have to know. You must use the decimal form of your percentage. That's the only thing that's a little bit different. Okay, so 12%, we're just going to write 0.12. Remember to change percent to a decimal, you divide it by 100. And there's the word of. Okay, the word of, whoops, I wrote down an equal sign. I've got to erase that. Did not mean to do that. The word of means multiply. So, it's 12% times 50. Then it says is. What's is equal. What's what is what there. So there it is. 12% of 50 is what? Well, since x is isolated, all you have to do now is multiply 0.12 times 50. You do that, you can double check me, but that's 6. So there you have two methods to solve the same question. Let's move down to the second one. 45% is 20% of what? You know what I like to do is put the percent on there first because you always know that that's 20 over 100. That's There you've got 2. All you've got to do is get one more figured out. Here you got 45 is. 45 is, okay, 45 is, that goes where is is. Put the x right there, crisscross and multiply. You have 20x equals uh, 4,500. Again, hopefully you can fit that in there. Divide both sides by 20, and you should get x equals 225. Let's try it as an equation. Okay, you have 45. I'm now just reading the equation. 45 is, it's equal, 20% of multiply what x.2 times x. How would you solve this now? 45 equals 0 0.2 times x divided by 0 0.2. Try that. 45 divided by 0 0.2. Let's see what you get. Did you get 225? Because I did. All right, x equals 225. Again, two ways to solve the same question. How about the third one? We are halfway through this paper, almost halfway through. What is 40% of 60? Okay, let's just play the game, put in the proportion. 40%, let's do that first because that's easy. 40% goes over 100, that's easy. What is, what is, what is? X is, what is? X is, is. X goes there, of 60 goes there. There you go. Crisscross and multiply, you got 100x. You got 60 times 40. 2400 divide by 100. I'm not going to show that. Hopefully we can do that at this point and we get x is 24. Now let's go on to uh, the next one to do that as an equation. Uh, what? So just read it left to right. What x is I'm kind of show you right there equals 40% point four of 60. That means times 60. Now that's easy. X is isolated. Multiply that. Guess what? It's 24. Same thing. How about number 4? Let's try that. 120 per, 120%. Ooh, there's a crazy one. You got a percentage greater than 100. 124%. We don't care. Just put the numbers in. It's 124 over 100. Of what? Of what? Of is the denominator. X. Of is the whole. Is 60. All right, there you go. Crisscross and multiply. You have 124x equals 60 times 100. That is 6,000. Divide both sides by 124 and get x equals 50. And did you see my mistake? You were all just dying to fix that, weren't you? That's 120. That's 120. Sorry about that. I had it down right. I just wrote it there wrong, but it is still 50. Uh, almost got me. All right, 120x equals 6,000. Sorry about that. Uh, moving on now to the equation. All right, the equation here, 120%. That's 1 1.2. Remember, percent to the decimal, you just divide it by 100. 1 1.2 of what? So there it is, 1 1.2 of. That means times what? 
x equals 60. See how easy that is? 1.2 times x equals 60. Divide both sides by 1.2. Guess what you get? Yep, 50. All right, and I'm going to pause. I'm going to stop the video now, and I'll come back to finish up the last two in the next one.